Hey guys, this is the MMA Diagnosis Podcast. I'm your host, Hammer Mayer. Today I have with me a professional mixed martial artist competing in the Cage Warriors Bantamweight division, Faisal Malik. How are you, my bro? I'm good, you're always saying. You okay, yeah? All good, man. <laughs> <laughs> How you been? Yeah, all good, bro. It's been a while, man. Yeah. Uh, Long time in the coming. We've been talking about it for time. We've been talking about this for yeah, time. time bro. Yeah, been, literally. That's what I've been telling people. Like, I've, been, I've been meaning to get you on for ages. Yeah, yeah. I took a break. Yeah. And then now I'm back. So back with a bang. bang. Back yeah, with a bang, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, obviously, you've been out for a while. So, yeah. like, what's going on? Yeah, when so basically, for the last, like, year and a half. No, about a year. Uh, I just built my own gym. Just had loads of guys fighting. Constant, every month. So, um, I was just busy with that. But um, yeah, now things are under control, so now I'm back. I'm okay, okay, training okay, now again, okay. so now I'm back. Hopefully, in a couple of months, you'll hear. An- well, you'll hear announcement probably in the next week or so. All right. Yeah, yeah that we're gonna announce more. Um So obviously, Legends MMA coaching yeah. Luton. Yep. Let's talk about Luton for people <laughs> that don't know, not from the UK or from other <laughs> yeah, yeah, parts. Yeah. Describe Luton for me. Luton. Um, Luton is a. It depends how you look at it. So there's a lot of crime in Luton. Let's keep yeah. it 100, yeah. A lot of crime, yeah. A lot of bad, but there's a lot of good as well. We've got um, a lot of talent in Luton. There's a lot of boxing clubs, a lot of kickboxing clubs, a lot of MMA clubs. There's loads of fighters. Generally, in Luton, we've got kickboxers who are fighting at the top level. We've got football players, we've got boxers, we've got MMA fighters. It's a proper, I call it like, um, there's a lot of um, hustlers in Luton. Like, as in, there's a lot of success stories in Luton as well. Like, um, guys in Luton are just generally, just because of the way the town is, it's not. It's we just it's a bit run down, blah blah blah, whatever. But I love it. Luton's home, and um, we're just for me. There's a lot of talent here, and that's literally what I'm trying to mould. More, more talent. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. Yeah, that's yeah. Luton's home. Yeah, I remember that <laughs> chicken one and chips. What else do you want to know? <laughs> <laughs> I remember that one. Uh, I remember that one clip with Tommy Robinson getting chased out of Luton. <laughs> that's yeah, what I remember. Yeah, from yeah, the <laughs> <laughs> there was so a lot of that growing up. Loads of that, yeah, loads but of then that. Uh, that got they got taken it's out. Got basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. It just got taken out eventually. All right, Legends MMA now. So yeah. as you can see, all the design here is wicked. We got a JSP there, yeah, yeah. Beeb, uh, all the uh, <coughs> bags and everything. What? Um, where can people like? Where's your gym and how long has the gym been open for? So initially, I got it like I've had the place since COVID. Okay. But um, it just wasn't open due to COVID, blah blah blah. And then officially we opened it last year around November time, November, December time. And then it's been like a year now, good year and a half. Um, yeah, just we're located in, near the town centre, uh, Quantrill House, Donstable Road. And yeah, that's it, bro. How do you find, um, a lot of people, fighters, just tend to say that when they're coaching, they they actually get better because oh, yeah, they're single tech. What's your experience with yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, oh, trust me, it's so true. Because you get a chance to go back on all techniques, and then when you look at it from a third person, you're like, oh, hold on, let me adjust this, let me adjust that. This might work better, blah, blah, blah. Do you get, do you get come from? Yeah, yeah. Like, normally it's just you, you doing it, but when you look at it from a third person, it's like you see different things, different possibilities where you're going to land, where you should put your leg, hips, hands. Do you get it? Like, different, different positions, 100%. That's definitely, because for me, even though I've not um, fought for a year, well, like, it feels like I'm in the gym every day, I'm with the guys every day, so it's like I've, been, I've been, still been improving. It's very weird, bro. Like, Probably interesting um, side to coaching. Yeah, because um, like for example, like people don't know like you, you yeah. have solid grappling background. Like I didn't even know you got your you got your brown belt at twenty one. Yeah, yeah, ages like ten years ago. I didn't bro. Even know yeah, 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 yeah. That's crazy. You know, people <laughs> yeah, that don't know yeah. that's crazy. You know, yeah, that's, yeah. How could you go for the black? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, originally I did. I got my grading my black. This is like during COVID, but then um, our team split, and then okay. I went towards um. I just focused. I just focused more no, nogi. So okay, I went, okay, um, okay. for the last like eight years, bro, I've not touched the gi. Yeah, eight to yeah, nine yeah. years, yeah. I went do, you feel, do you feel like gi? Um, no, I put it on every now and then, very rarely. Like I probably put the gi on about two years ago yeah. and um, it felt the same to me. Like, yeah. well, I, like, you know, even though I haven't put it on for so long, when I did put it on, everything was back again. But I will 100% go back to the gi, but for now, the focus is MMA. For people and that don't know, gi is the kimono. That yes. Big. No gi is where you wear like a t-shirt. Yeah, or yeah, something. rash guard. Like yeah, or rash guard. Yeah. yeah. Um, but my level, I know this already, um, even I got graded by Dan Strauss, like his highest ranking Oh, Nogi. Dan Strauss is, yeah, yeah, yeah Raspberry. Yeah. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So he gave me his highest ranking Nogi, but then the gym split. He's a black belt under Hodger, right? Yeah, that's right, yeah. So, yeah, yeah I know what my level is. Um, black belt, originally, my coach, previous coach, did, was giving it to me, but COVID happened, a few things happened, the gym split. We went our way, they went their way, blah, blah, blah. And that was that. Yeah. yeah so, uh, 
your gyms had a lot of success so recently like a lot of your guys have been winning like, yeah over the last what two weekends now like, yeah the whole year bro we yeah, had like a 90 yeah, percent yeah. win rate yeah 90 percent win rate oh yeah yeah, yeah. okay that's a, that's a high we've got about probably about 20 fights 25 fights yeah okay, okay. lost okay. about two i think yeah that's, that's, that's solid that's yeah that's, that's what you want on it that's, yeah, yeah, yeah that's why you need to come down here <laughs> yeah, yeah literally bro just, we have the best team i reckon honestly for me we have probably one of the best teams in the uk Obviously, we're a small gym. Yeah, yeah. Keep it humble, but soon you got some solid coaches. Yeah, yeah. Because Sam Creasy, you got yeah, got Steve, you got Rich, yeah. you got Barry, we got Unks, we got just the list just goes on. There's about nine of us in total, and we all nine. work together. Yeah, there's nine about nine coaches. coaches. Yeah, eight nine coaches. Yeah. Wow. Um, and I'm gonna add a few more. Greco Roman's coming now. Greco, uh, Greco Roman coach. Oh, okay. For um, and maybe judo as well. Just gonna add a few more to the timetable because we're growing yeah. as well. We're gonna move to a different location, so okay, yeah. the timetable is gonna change. Um, but um, yeah, uh, just it just um. The hunger, anyway, hungry man. Like I don't let these guys off an inch. Any mistake I see, bam, fix that. Like you know, like attention to detail. And another thing as well is that separates us is I'm all, we're always training. See the coaches, they're not too old, so we're live with oh, the guys. Yeah, you're all young. So like when we go and we go and train with my coach, for example, or I'm going over there and I come back and I share the techniques. Do you get it? So we're live, we're drilling. And even I get um, opinions of my coaches of what do you think of the next opponent my students fighting against blah 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 do you get it? and they give their input it's a whole wide variety of people telling us what to do blah 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 do you get it yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so like uh who do you go then to train with uh, uh, then obviously you got your gym here but yeah yeah, yeah so uh, yeah i'm here right now but normally i train with tyrone i train with in london i train at a few different places okay, for like okay. I, my team's never changed like even though i've got my own gym yeah, yeah, yeah i still, still train with still my train lads my people yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah. How does that? How do you have time for that? <laughs> yeah, it's hard, man. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I took a year out. Okay. Yeah, you because had to I had to set up. Yes, everything. The gym. Um, and um, what it was is that, like, I didn't, I didn't expect so many fighters to come through the ranks this quick. Like, basically, I thought it's gonna take yeah, like, three, was, four yeah, years. I, I was but what happened is, um, generally, when you look around at the mat, like, well, I'm not joking. You know, just say, for example, Monday Muay Thai. Yeah, there's like 30, say 30 people in the class, 40 people. Like, I'm looking around. I'm like, bro, like, there's like 30 people that can actually fight. And they're all young, between 16 to 18 to 24, yeah. do you get it? And then I was like, do you know what, hold on, let me just try and nurture these lot, guide these lot a little bit more. And uh, now you see it now, there's like another, in May, you're going to see like another eight, four, eight, nine more guys fight, like no one's seen before. So the team's growing now to like 20 fighters, 25 fighters, do you get it? In yeah, one year. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's just, um, we don't sleep, man. This gym is open six in the morning, we go home about 1 a.m. at night, 12 a.m. at night, midnight. Do you get it? Literally, like 18 hours yeah, a day. Yeah. People don't see that, they just see these little, um, hands raised for two seconds but the amount of work that goes in is next level, it's a full-time it's a full-time thing but it depends on how you take it with me my personality is that like if i do something it's all in or all out do you get it so like when i said i'm gonna open a gym i'm going all out with it but now it's settled everything's in place now i'm gonna go back to my own training yeah that's what yeah that's what happened okay so um moving from that now yeah you obviously you go you, you go your fight you're gonna announce it obviously soon yeah you're guaranteed fighting this year yeah, yeah, I'm fighting probably the next 12 weeks. 12 to 14 weeks. Oh, okay, weeks. that close. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. Um, it just depends, man. I'm, I, like, basically, I just hope everything goes smooth. Like, basically, to get it, I want to fight. I want to fight basically around May, June time. Okay. But people, I've not given an opponent yet. I'm just still waiting for a name. It's been a little while, but I got a message today morning saying, hey, how's it going, blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay, I'm good. <laughs> Let's hear the name. Just give me the name. Are they it? giving you a venue? Yes, they have, but it's a bit of a trek, but... They are, basically there's two venues. The one's in Newcastle, yeah, and one's in London. But the okay. London is further down the line a bit. Okay. But I kind of want to fight a bit. May time, June time. I don't want to wait too long to get it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. let's see. Let's just see what what the best thing to do is. How do How do you feel like you stack up in the bantamweight division? Yeah, I don't see it's, it's the same shit, man. I thought the guy was a champion now. Um, uh, okay, let's let's get into that. Yeah, and basically, um, people don't know like like people don't know like what happened before the yeah guy, yeah exactly yeah, I mean? yeah that's so right yeah for me what is it i don't need to prove nothing to no one but uh, yeah, that's, that's why i kept it calm i was normal about it i was like yeah it is what it is i'll be back because i know my level yeah yeah and uh, if i wasn't if i if i didn't feel i'm at a good level i would never do the sport this is not a joke of a sport you know i'm coming from like you're if you're good at it stick to it if you're not bruv go do something else because at the end of the day it's tough bro and there's a lot of investment going into it blah 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 but look basically last time last fight i made weight sorry i was cutting weight it was about 12 at midnight i made 140 pounds had about five pounds left, so I was gonna go sleep, wake up, cut the rest. It was about two a.m. I think we get a call from my oh no no, no sorry from the, my opponent's manager, and he's like, "You guys pull uh, f my opponent at the time, he's not fighting." Oh, I was like, "You're taking the piss." It's like flipping. It's like the twelfth pull out of 
the whole time. You're gonna have so many pullouts for the yeah, last like yeah. two years. Like no one's fighting. I'm not. I'm not nowhere near where I want to be. But like people are pulling out left, right, centre. So um, I'm just frustrated again. I'm like flipping it. Not again. How can it happen? Like five hours from the veins. Yeah, do you get it? Then uh, Cager is like, we went to Ian Dean's room, blah blah. blah. He's like, look. Um, yeah, uh, even he didn't know about it. He goes like, let me chat to me, whatever. Put um, put me put. But basically, it goes to me, make the weight because I'll find someone for you. I made the weight, um, calm, like whatever, I was fine. And then um, Graham Boyle was like, look, yeah, there's no one available right now. You're going to fight at the end of the year, which is like six weeks away, you know, from the date they gave me. So I said, cool, that's calm, it is what it is, isn't it? Like, so I went home, rehydrated, chilled back to normal again. This is a Friday, so like, we get a call like a Wednesday. And then they're like, oh, we've got a fight for you on Friday in Liverpool against Gittins. I was like, cool. They're like, yeah, but you got, what's your weight? I'm like, I was about 160. Because well, like, you bloomed back up, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never bloomed too much. I don't know me. That's, that's how much I put on. I'll put on like 15, like, 20. On two days, though. Uh, yeah, no, it's, yeah, that's right. So then they're like, they're like, I'm like, what weight? They're like, you're going to have to cut, basically come back down again. I'm like, shit. Okay, cool. So literally, cut the weight back down again and then made the weight. But this time around, all I was just drained, bro. Like, my body was not the same. Even though. Because of the short period? Yeah, or? it's just up and down, isn't it? Up and down. Like, for me, really, like, I cut a lot of weight. Do you get it? And um, doing it. Once it's calm, you rehydrate, whatever. But then, then I was just chilling, like a couple of days off, like three days, four days off, then um, back in again. I was, it kind of messed my whole body up. I couldn't move. You know, my body just tired, yeah. knackered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what literally what happened. And then um, now I see that he's gone on to win the title. Um, Ian did, did promise me, saying that um, you win your next fight, you win your next two fights, you get a world title shot straight away. So that's literally what my goal is. I'm waiting. I hope Gittin stays in that cage or his bantamweight division because Wallahi, I'm coming for him. It's unfinished business. Cause all, all I need is a month to prepare, to prepare for him. That's all. Like as in, I don't need an eight-week camp, 12-week camp. I felt him already before. I know exactly his height, his reach, everything. Do you get it? My body, I knew what happened. Do, 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 does he hit hard though? No, he doesn't hit hard. He just got uh, volume. Just okay, loads okay, of volume, okay. loads of volume. Like he doesn't hit hard because I think I never dropped on nothing. Yeah, I was still standing. I was say, yeah, I was calm. Because because even in that when fight, I lost that fight. Yeah, you didn't you didn't get dropped. No, nah, nothing. I was calm. Yeah, TKO stand up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was fine. All it was, I was responding. To the, I was responding to the referee. The referee said, like, "Are you okay?" I'm talking to him. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm good. But I'm yeah, like this. Yeah, yeah, Do you get yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, but uh, I understand his point. There's loads of shots coming. Yeah, yeah. But um, what happened is, um, just before that, did you notice that I got hit in the balls? Like a knee yeah, in the balls, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, you know my cup, my cup going from here to here. So <laughs> I went to grab it and pull it back. Oh, Do you get okay, it? Okay. And in that process, the referee stepped in for like a second. Remember, he goes, he goes, stop. So when I grabbed it, he goes, carry on. And I'm like, yeah, like I'm like, yo, you like, just said to me, stop for a second. Yeah. And then he just carried on pummeling, he shots in. Mine are, it is what it is, man. Uh, at the end of the day, a lot of blessing came from that. Like, it's weird to say it, but even though I lost, but... My life changed for the good. Like a lot of things happened in my life, like yeah. loads. I'll feel, talk about it later. Do you, do you feel like obviously you know how when you win, yeah, everyone supports. Do you yeah, feel yeah. like when you lose a lot of man Um but should I tell you something? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. That that does happen, but with me is um I'm not into this social media hype. I've never been oh, into okay, it. You probably okay. notice I don't post nothing. Nah, nah. I only post when there's a fight coming up. Yeah. So like to me, all it is is that like the people around me. Like I know a lot of people, there's a lot of guys coming to the gym, a lot of my family, my friends, whatever. With them, we just keep it 100 with each other, do you get it? But these followers and likes and that, I couldn't give a toss about. So if you follow me, you don't, I don't care. But it's the people that are close to me, they know it and they knew that wasn't the real me. Do you get it? A lot of people were like, when I announced that I'm back with Showtime, blah, blah, blah. Bro, people are non-stop ringing me, they're like, bro, we can't wait that you're back. We, we, were, we were hoping you come yeah, back. I was going to say that. You, yeah. got, you got a solid uh, fan base. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, like Alhamdulillah, yeah. On your Instagram, you got 50,000 followers. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's you right. Know, yeah. You're young and 40 in uh, yeah. how long? Yeah, that's right. You've yeah, but more than a year, bro. Base. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. I think one thing you're good at, though, your marketing is good, though. Because, yeah, yeah. because, like, the vlogs now you do with yeah, the yeah, yeah. MMA. You, you've done YouTube videos before. Yeah, that's like, right. Yeah. Just your own channel, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I remember watching them. You did one in the town. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the that's mall, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Old days, went through the mall. Oh, the okay. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. You did one there. That's, oh, okay. That's wicked. That's big. Yeah, yeah. That's just a big thing to do. Just I like to show people that anybody can achieve. Like uh, we're not. You know, fighters. They think they're some superheroes. We're human beings, bro. Yeah, yeah. Anybody can do it. I'm just like anyone else. Do you get it? Anybody can do it. that. Young kid who's listening to me, hopefully, he he, he might be like, you know what? I can do it as well because he says it. I'm from this. I'm just just like everyone else. And that's what I try to show. That like even though um, like there's a persona about fighters and blah blah blah, but we're just normal people, bro. Like everything's achievable. You can do it. You can do it too, bro. You said to me you want to fight. Nah, well, nah, let's nah, go, nah. bro. <laughs> Seventy kilos. <laughs> I'm gonna edit this out. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Just keep, I just keep it 100, innit? you get me? Like, yeah, there's no filter yeah, on my vlogs. Yeah. There's no filter on anything. This is just who we are and how yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get 100%. it? Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to fight people. <laughs> joking. I'm not joking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, shit. Yeah, so, that Liam Gittins fight now, like, that's what I was thinking, I was looking at, I was like, okay, he's batting weight champ now. Yeah. So, this is like a perfect story. 100%, like, inshallah, yeah. That's, it'll, that's, it'll do well, like, yeah. if that rematch, I think will sell. Oh, 100%. That's I'll make sure that you Cage just Warriors. watch the next post fight. I'm going to yeah, do a yeah. campaign against him. Like, fight me. <laughs> fight me, fight me, fight me. I'll turn up at his gym, fight me. Watch, this is this is like a nice quiet side you see to me. Yeah. But with, for that fight, inshallah, I get that win. Yeah. Then watch, there's a whole campaign with the game. Oh, fight me, bro. Fight me constantly. Fight. I mean, I'll turn up at his fight. I'll you be, I'll be like in his face, bro, at, at, at the cage side. I'll be like, fight me, bro. Oh, I don't want no money for it. I just want to fight you. Simple. Like, so I can give you my purse. I can give you everything. Yeah. Take away the belt. I'm not going to give a fuck about the belt. I want to fight him as a rematch. Do you get it? But... Hopefully he doesn't get signed to the UFC. I see, I do wish him the best. Get signed yeah, to the UFC. Yeah. Maybe we meet, meet each other in the UFC. You never know. But yeah, sure, for yeah. now, um, my goal is, bro, I'm coming for Gittins. He's a champion. One or two fights. I know I'll get it. I know I'll get it. Yeah. How active are we looking to be this year? Um, Obviously, we're, we're about to be at least I want to get two fights before September. Two fights, yeah. Before September. Before then, September? Then, then one at the end of the year. Let's see, though. Oh, so you aim for three. Yeah, man. I just need to... Um, Go back to the old days, isn't it? Like how I used to train back in the days, like just fully training. Like um, there was like right now, there's a lot of things going on in the back, but I'm putting them all to the side now. So you got other coaches covering everything now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, oh, no, I'll be here. I'll be here, but not as much. Not as much. Uh, let them. Yeah. Let them do yeah, the yeah, work. Like and then. Before, will I like the last four or five years, bro? I will probably give MMA twenty percent. All my training partners know this. Even though I'm training, I'm not the way I usually am. The way you used to. Yes, do you get it? But now, um, I literally get motivated by my own students, bro. Now they're going out there smashing. They always tell me, they're like, coach, man, we're waiting for you to go back. And then I'm like, okay, cool. I know it's time. I, I planned it anyway, but they're like, all this motivating. They're like, bro, go back, go back. Like, um, don't worry about us. We're still here. The coaches are here as well. Just do you go, you go, you push on. I'm like, yeah, inshallah, let's try. Let's go back. And let's smash it. So you were talking about UFC now, aspiration. Yeah, you, uh, always. Made, always. I made that list. <laughs> yeah, yeah, always. Facts 95, I'll put oh, yeah. it on that list. Um, what, if you were to make the UFC, when can you envision it in your head? Like when you would ideally. Want I need to? about three wins, three fights. Yeah, yeah, three good fights. What, what, why? Do, why do you? Why do you think there's not been one? Like oh no, there is. Um, why, not, what do you think? Why do you think? Sorry, um, at the moment there's not. Um, not one ever made it. Sorry, UFC. not one Pakistani fighter has made. Yeah, UFC. Not in, yeah, soon well, though. Why, soon do you, why do you? Why do you think that is though? Um, sports fairly yet. young. Sports not that old yeah, as well. Yeah. You get it. So um, the next wave that are coming through, inshallah, there'll be loads. But the sport's very young. My, own, my only thing is the sport's very young. It's like 20 years old. So all the youngsters now that are trying to train, give them another 10 years, they'll get there. But another thing as well is um, the sport. What else is it? It's just people I are think, not, not there yet. Soon like they the will get there. Yeah, literally, yeah. <laughs> just like the money yeah, yeah. of fast cars. Yeah, yeah straight. <laughs> That's, <what it> is. <laughs> That's it, bro. They get to 18, 19, 20, and they're like, you know what, bun this, bro. Let's make some money now. But... Um, um, just keep going, man. That's it. Do you see a lot of opening come through? There's a lot of guys, uh, um, Pakistani, Bengalis, fighting MMA now. Um, like, trust me, the next wave of talent, crazy. Crazy, they can do it all. But my only thing is, bro, nothing wrong with the opening. It's just um, the sport's young. Over time, just like boxing, there's loads of opening. Now, you see the same thing in MMA. there would be like a whole wave of them coming through. Because you see them on every show. Like, whenever I'm at a show, mm -hmm. I'll always meet a new guy there. I'm like, oh, so I'm hiding, bro. You okay? Like, you get me like yeah, yeah. I see like uh, it's quite often now I see a new new opener coming up, and it's good, it's good, and yeah, give it another five. Do you feel, years like, do you feel like uh, the guy behind you in that picture had a lot to do with a lot of yeah, the, young the young Muslims yeah, in the yeah, UK yeah. especially hundred percent coming into MMA hundred million percent. This guy changed everything, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. like you know, like um, the way he carried himself, you know, like he made it proud to be a Muslim, proud, like you know, like and um, the wrestling part of it, blah blah blah, like a lot, a lot of lot of even the classes generally, like there's a lot more. Muslims training, airplane training. And more adamant train wrestling as well. 100%. Now as well. Yeah, 100 million percent. I remember yeah. before people never used to come wrestling. Yeah, 100%. It's just boxing. People used to run away. People used to just do. <laughs> people <laughs> just used to do the Thai boxing. You know, the Thai boxing yeah, and yeah. the Jiu Jitsu. Gone. And yeah, yeah. Thai boxing and Jiu Jitsu packed. Yeah. And then, you know, the wrestling, they were like, you know what? We've got to stop the wrestling. That's yeah, three yeah. people are turning Yeah, up. literally, bro. Yeah. I'll straight down. Yeah. But now it's the full script has changed now. <laughs> Man's are on it. They want to wrestle. Like, because I see that wrestling is quite dominant as well. It's probably yeah. the number one 
kind of, I want to say number one. It is, it is. is but majority of the yeah, UFC arrests. champions were wrestling. Yeah, exactly, wrestling exactly, hundred percent. So. Yeah, I look uh, at the Pakistanis, but they're running through everybody. Yeah, yeah. And um, they all come from a high. Well, they're very well rounded, but um, the wrestling is the key in it. Wrestling, yeah. And it separates them from everyone else. What's your? Um, I I want to ask you about this, but so you know the, the you had a situation with Paddy Pimblet after the. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to go into that? <laughs> yeah, come, let's go. I've got a vlog of footage of that, but that's going to release for my next hype, the next fight up. Do you get it? Okay. So basically, okay. what it all was is that I was weighing in. Well, yeah, uh, let me just explain. Yeah, so people, he fought, the guy he fought in his last fight. Yeah. So this was post-fight, right? This was pre-fight. Oh, pre-fight. Okay, okay. So because yeah, he was talking shit in it on, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, on so the thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, and um, don't tell him, don't tell him. Or should I just go? No, nah, you go. Yeah, so basically, they, they was talking bare shit. Uh, about um, his, but basically sporting his guy. Yeah. And obviously, up and down, up and down, like, nah, bro, like, it is, like, they were going hammer. So your yeah? boys were. Yeah, yeah. So, what happened is, you know, at the wings, yeah? yeah? I was at the top of the, I was in the, um, like, the third floor of the hotel. I was looking out. And my mates were outside smoking cigarettes, innit? Yeah. And they see Paddy pull up. Bro, all I see, wallahi, about 20 men just circle him. Literally, make a circle around him. They're like, what? This, that. I had to run down. <laughs> I literally, like, I had to run down. Yeah, I swear to God, yeah. Oh, I had to run man. down. I tell him, hey, stop, stop, stop. Like, this is not it. Like, leave him alone. They're like, Tim, we don't give a shit if you're a UFC fighter. This is on <laughs> road. We're going to deal with you. We know we're going to find out where you live. We're going to get your house shot. This and that. Oh, that, oh, yo. Yeah, oh, that, yeah. yo, listen, chill out, lads. Yeah, he's not that deep, bro. This is a minor, it's internet little beef, yeah, but he's calm. And then they literally circled him. He hid behind his camera. You know, he's a vlog yeah, guy. Yeah. Well, like, he's hiding behind him, bro. We got it in the footage. And then, um, <laughs> actually, I pulled them all back. Oh, listen, leave it. Because cages might do something to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah, get it? And, like, you're, and yeah. you know, you might get... Yeah, plus, I was cutting away. Oh, 61 kilos, dying. Yeah. Well, lads, just leave it. We'll sort it out afterwards. You don't know, he might call the police. Yeah, exactly. Or exactly, yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. But it was so funny, though. You know the way he hid behind his um, cameraman? Well, like, he's like a little puppy. He's hiding <laughs> in the corner, bro. Yeah, and then, um, then after the fight, he was calm. He just shook my hand. Normal. Okay. He was like a um, good fight, blah, blah, blah. And then that's it. He just kept it moving. He was calm after that, yeah. I'm pretty sure he went back and he shook a few of my mates' hands as well. Did he? You know, on the way out of the walkout. Okay. Yeah, yeah. he went back and he shook their hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, he wrote his jokes. Yeah, yeah. I better do that. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. I don't think people realize that. Like, yeah, but. That was jokes, but that's too funny. Even I didn't expect that. Because I'm looking from the third, third floor outside, you get it? Okay. And yeah. all I see is these are just turned towards him. You know, like. No, but uh, it was, did it, wasn't it because he said something? Yeah, yeah. He, oh, I, I don't even know I exactly what he part, said, right? but what, it, it was back and forth on the internet comments. You know, in the comment section. Oh, like, he was picture. talking. Yeah, he was just replying back that's to what, that's, what, that's what I said. Like, yeah. you know, like, don't like, it's sometimes not good to talk online. 100% bro. Because, you know, you better keep that energy when in you see person. The 100% bro. 100%. That's what I say to a lot of people. Yeah, you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You better keep that energy in person if you're gonna talk. Like, hundred percent. Because then it can get real, bro. It can get real. And yeah. like the way that the, my mates were literally, I was like, "Yo, chill, lads, chill. We're gonna get in trouble here." <laughs> and literally, I had to pull them back. That's how the opener. <laughs> yeah, literally, bro. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I don't blame them, bro. I'll do the, the same thing for them. Somebody talks shit to yeah, them, yeah, bro. I'm yeah. violating next man. But yeah, that's another day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, Moving from the that paddy and all that, <laughs> yeah. What you know, the sport now we're seeing a lot of like trash talk, oh, yeah. Owners. What do you make of that? Do you feel like it's a good thing, or it's do you feel like it sells the sport, it sells the sport more, or do you feel like it like takes out the nah. martial arts aspect of it? No, nah, no, nah, it's good, but it depends. Trash talk is good, but like, don't get too personal. See, see like, you know, like with you, I yeah. feel like it's natural, yeah, yeah, I, get like, you. I don't feel like. You're doing a Colby one. Yeah, yeah. You know like Colby where yeah, he talks yeah, yeah. rubbish and then he, he gets <laughs> With hit. the glasses on. No, and he gets yeah, hit yeah. by Masvidal and then calls police. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like yeah, yeah, you can't be doing that if yeah, you're yeah. going to do that hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, at least when Charles Sonnen does it, he, he beats five off of guys it. on one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that battery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. beat five guys on one. He can, actually, yeah, 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 literally. There's a video of it, right? Yeah, that's There's right. There's a video yeah. of it as well when he goes, uh, you better call 9 or <laughs> If it's 5 on 1, you better call 9 on 1. No way. And then three years later, you raw beat of five guys. That's crazy, bro. So. With you, it's natural, right? Do you feel like some guy? No, but I don't want to talk. I don't want to trash talk like that. You don't trash talk the way like I am. that. But I'm saying, yeah, like yeah, yeah. The way you're, you know, yeah. you're calling him out, but you're doing it your way. Yes, of course, of course, of course. Like yeah. It's, it's it's how you know. As a man, I, I've yeah, known yeah. I've known you for a while now, yes, so yes. I know it's 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 all like genuine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas some people, I feel like they just act. Yeah, it's yeah. a bit of an act. Yeah, hundred percent. That that it depends as well. You know, some of them they get carried away with the trash talk. Like Conan brought religion into it. His parents into yeah. it, and look what happened to him. Got battered. Keep it about the fight. Do you yeah. get it? Not about the individual's past and blah blah blah. That's the only for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Just keep it about the fight. And um, 
I gauge it as well. I, I, it depends on the person. For example, he, like right now, Gaines is a man, so I've got to do extra stuff to call him out. Do you get it? He ain't going to ever fight me. Do you get it? He, I have to do, watch, after the fight, I'm going to do like a proper, get him vexed. And then he can fight me, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> you get me? But, uh, yeah, because you know what you were saying? You're going to go there, you can call him out. Yeah, yeah. Like, Muhammad Ali used to do that really oh, well. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Uh, he, he, he went to Joe Fraser's house. Was it Joe Fraser's house? One, I didn't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Liston's, he went to Sonny Liston's house. Your house? I didn't even know that, bro. He went outside his house and called him out. <laughs> with five, but this was back in they the... Should what, there the they should have just fought there and then. They should have just fought there and then. He must have yeah, took his jacket and yeah. like, come, let's go now. <laughs> and then, like, do you feel like the site... No one talks about the psychological aspect a lot as well, like going yeah. into a fight. Like you know how you said you had a lot of stuff going on. Yes, hundred percent. Going into a fight, people just see the two minutes. Yeah, exactly. One hundred percent. And they're yeah, like, yeah. oh, this guy's this guy's washed. This guy's yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, he should retire. Like, yeah, 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 every yeah. other fighter they yeah. say that. Now. That's so, right. Yeah. Do you feel like that's that needs to be shown more? Like, okay, this is what a lot of fighters are going through. Or do you feel like people just care about if you're a winner or a loser? Yeah, that's right. People just care about if you win or lose, bro. No, one but, cares but, about but saying that. that um, it's the fight is job and for that to show that part maybe or talk about it be real to the camera and be like look it's not just um, getting our hands raised there's a lot of that goes on but then but then people yeah. will say oh he's just making excuses yeah exactly so it's pro yeah, pros and cons to it so like when Mokai thought he goes he vomited like before oh, yes, the fight and yes, things yes, like that yes, people yes, are yes. like oh he's just yeah he's just trying to make out like, yeah yeah, yeah yeah all that yeah but he's showing, he showing he even showed a picture of him vomiting and yeah like, I swear he had staff as well remember he put a picture of him he had staff affection on his elbow I never saw that I see like on two days ago yeah but um some people care, some people don't. It It depends on the fighter's mentality. Like, for example, win, lose, or draw, whatever happens, like, I don't need to prove myself to anyone. Do you get what I'm coming from? That's my mentality. So if I want to tell people something, I'll tell them. If I don't, it doesn't really matter. I don't even care. Do you get At the end of the day, it's me living in my shoes and how I'm doing it and how I see the world. So I don't care how people think. Do you get what I'm coming from? Close ones will know what happened, and that's what really matters. Next man, I couldn't give a damn about. You get me? Yeah, so we were like we were talking about uh, trash talk. Yeah. Now, do you feel like say like the guy behind me now, GSP, he did it the other way where he was humble yeah. and that like, thing, but it yeah. worked for him. Yeah, that's right. But I feel like in this day and age, now it's a bit difficult. No, it is different because of social media, following, like um, you see the likes of Jake Paul and these man running the show because of of their uh, following and blah blah blah. Do, you get it? Nowadays, do you like that stuff? Or do you feel like Jake's kind of proved himself now? Like, in a Jake's alright, Jake's alright, yeah, he's, he's decent boxer right, like, like that. Like yeah, he's okay. He actually yeah, but um, I just don't like the fact that like, you could be the most talented dude, but if you don't have followers and stuff, no one cares about it. Like, as in, promoters don't care about you. Th that's if you don't sell enough tickets, promoters don't care about you. I know so many talented guys, bro, that have this problem. And I just feel sorry for them. I'm like, man, like, you're a beast, bro. But it's a, it's a lot more common in boxing. These ticket sales and blah, blah, blah. blah. But I hope MMA doesn't go down that route. You know, they start going on purely ticket sales and all that then you're going to see a lot of talented guys just go, go to waste. Do you feel like a lot of, uh, what advice would you give to like younger fighters then because you know making uh, building an audience in a way so mm. like because you've built an audience now like what advice would you give to any younger fighters? Just treat yourself like a brand. Simple. Yeah I think I read yeah. a book from uh, Uriah Faber. Oh, okay. So he's got a book called Laws of the Ring. Check it out. If you oh, okay, I haven't seen that. Okay. But the way it's not just an MMA book. He builds. He breaks down business. Yes, that's so right. He talks about like how you create Team Alpha Male. Yes, yes, yes. And then you're me Inc. You know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you're the brand. So hundred percent. I think from I think early you got to treat yourself like you're like you're a brand, and just keep it one hundred, and um, yeah, focus on the main goal, which is improving your fight skill set. But you got also have a audience that watches you, follows you, supports you. And um, break down yourself as in like a, where you're from, who your audience is, and and show show them that you're you're part from the, like I'm from Pakistan, Kashmir, so a lot of my fan base is from there. Do you get it? Because I, I rep them, I showed them. You know, growing up, so they're loyal to the bone. But you got, yeah, you gotta be smart. You got to, number one is treat yourself like a brand in everything that you do, and um, don't settle for like nothing but treat yourself like you're the A side in everything that you do. Because a lot of guys coming up will get mistreated, you know, like promote, like just trust me. The, this dog, this game is nasty, bro. You know the back back of it. Yeah. But just treat yourself. Make basically treat yourself like you're the A side, and um, treat yourself like you're a brand, and be professional. Because the way the the world's going, bro, it's uh, a very, the it's all about marketing, man. If you can market the fighter, he's gonna be fighting main event. He's gonna be fighting for title shots. 
Do you get it? And if you're not, you ain't got followers and stuff, bro, no one's gonna care about you. It's just sad though, this is what I hate. But yeah, just treat yourself like a brand. And um, remember, you're always the A side. So, talking about brands, uh, there's another man that made himself a big brand, Andrew Tate. So, oh, yeah. you actually. Yeah. I didn't even know I didn't even know this, so yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you trained at Storm Gym. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Day, yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. How long were you yeah. training with him for then? Because he's gone. Um, like, well, yeah. I probably I was probably there on and off for like a year. While okay. doing Jiu Jitsu somewhere else. Um not probably longer, probably longer to So did you, did you like know him then like? Yeah, yeah, I used to train yeah, with him properly, yeah, 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 yeah because yeah. Uh, I used to get dropped off there early. And then my dad used to go work, blah blah blah. And then he used to be there early as well. So we just used to both hit the back together. Yeah, yeah. I remember he taught me how to do the left head kick because he's got a very interesting way of doing it. He flicks it. From the okay, yeah, background yeah, he's got. Yeah, yeah. And he was teaching me best stuff, bro. Like the left hook, his centre point, when you throw a dongle past the centre, oh, little, little, little things. Um yeah, he was he's a really nice guy, bro, trust me. He, is he, is internet he, persona. Is he striking legit? Yeah, he's legit, yeah, yeah. He never fought he well fought. he's a he's a He didn't find glory, but he fought in uh, infusion. Yeah, yeah, he's legit, like, yeah, yeah. A big, uh, like, yeah, like infusion's a big kickboxing. Yeah, back then it was yeah. massive, bro. Yeah, massive. Yeah, it was yeah, huge, so. yeah. And he was like a four time kickboxing world champion with about ninety fights, that's no joke, bro. You yeah, get it? He's had about yeah, 90 yeah. fights. He's had MMA too. He's, beat, he's beaten um, some good fighters like Luke Barnett in ex UFC. Oh, did he? Yeah, he knocked him out or something in the second round. Check it. He's on YouTube. Okay. Um, yeah, he's got. He's got. Um, he's legit. He's a legit guy for that time. He was yeah, a beast, yeah, bro. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. And trust me, he was a good guy as well. It's an he's not. He's man. not. You know, like obviously, you do see the good side of him now. But like, um, I remember, man, we used to chat all the time. I was a little kid, bro. He showed me love. He used to talk to me how to hand my, wrap my hands and everything. And um, uh, him and his brother too. His brother was there as well. Yeah, he's, he's, he was a good guy, bro, trust me. And even when I see him to where he is, well, I'm not surprised. Because I, he had that character about him, even then. Like, when he used to fight, he yeah. was very, um, you know, like, flashy, smug, like, you know, the way he's talking. Oh, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, one thing as well, he's very smart, bro. Proper smart. You know, when you talk to him, you could tell this guy's brain is, like, like 10, 10, 10, 10 steps ahead of the normal person. Proper smart guy. Oh, so did you know Tristan as well, then? Yeah, they're both of you trained together, aren't they? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I used to be the fat guy with the bin bag on. <laughs> cutting weight, yeah, yeah, sweet down, but I was 110 kilos. Yeah. A cutting weight, running around in the gym, and they used to rate that, like, they used to support me. They used to be like, oh, like, keep it up, blah, 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 do you get it? All the rest were adults, you get it? So I was the only one, I was like five foot, bloody six, 110 kilos, <laughs> just just started training, you did it, I'm trying to cut weight. Oh, yeah, you, 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 that's a mad weight loss, yeah, journey, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. So, yeah, so, um, what advice, like, okay, let's, so before we get into that, but, yeah, okay, so, yeah, so that's mad that Andrew Tate, and it, it's mad how the guys are most, yeah, was yeah, the yeah. most Google man on. Yeah, crazy, bro. Small world, right? Yeah, yeah, he's smart, bro. He he hit the system clever. He used his brain. That's what it was. Yeah, Simple. Yeah, yeah. He's outsmarted everyone. Yeah. Like he said something funny once. He was talking about Luton. Yeah. And then he goes, <laughs> he goes, yeah, I used to go to school and then see the Asian man with the fast car, the petrol station. <laughs> yeah, 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 I was like, yeah, you know what job they were doing? <laughs> <laughs> literally. There's too many of that, bro. There's loads here now. Save it, bro. Yeah, 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 literally, bro. So yeah. when he said that, I was just laughing. I knew yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. what he was talking about. Yeah, yeah, literally, bro. And then, yeah, I saw yeah. that inspired him, bro. He's like, how did you get that car? And they're telling him, like, look, just make money, bro, quick as you can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, uh, talking about that, you go, you were 110 kg. Yeah. You know, for people that are like a big weight now and they want to lose weight, what advice would you give? Because you've been there and done that. But not the way I did it, though. Okay, not I was going it, ham, bro. Like, I was literally like, not eating, um, just training to the point yeah. where I puke and I carry on. Oh, well, okay. I literally, yeah. I was at that point. And um, yeah, the way I did it was a bit on my own. It was like no structure, do you get it? But um, I'll just say, bro, hit up a nutritionist, gains.abc, if you don't know, go on Instagram or find him and um, go to that guy. Message him and he'll sort you out with a plan and everything that you need. Okay, okay. Yeah, get a plan. All, all it is is get advice. People think they know it all. Do you get it? But listen, when, if you need a proper advice, find a coach, find a nutritionist, whatever, and just stick to it. Simple. Stick to what it tells you. No matter who the person is, you're guaranteed to make gains. And put the work in. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if someone, if, so if a young kid said to you now, like, they want to be a fighter. Yeah. What advice would you give to them? What advice would you give them what to young like what i tell my fighters um yeah what do you like tell your fighters young fighters would you tell them like listen there's no money <laughs> you better do it for the passion <laughs> <laughs> nah, th um the money that comes if you if you're good yeah. in it yeah simple yeah that's, that's anything in life isn't it if you're good at something you'll get that money but um i'll just say look man just whatever team you're with stick with them train hard um listen to your parents be a good muslim these are all things, man, that separates us from everyone else, our religion and stuff. Very, very, very disciplined people. Use that same discipline in your fighting and um, 
simple man just don't get distracted by the world the world is a lot of shit going on do you get me just if you got a goal just attack it simple be in the gym be in a good environment surround yourself with people that want to help you and um yeah and don't give up man just keep going so oh, that's, that's that's some solid advice <laughs> thanks <Some> solid um <laughs> yeah because i feel like uh a lot of people get into the delusion of seeing Conor McGregor and yes. they think it's all you glitz know, and glamour. Glitz and glamour. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot of. Nah, uh, it's a lot of graft. Hundred percent. You got flipping, fighting, uh, small shows, blah blah blah, and this and that. It's not. It's not what you think, bro. Like people put up social media. Uh, sorry, on Instagram, like the way they're winning and blah blah blah. It's good, but those people earned that. They went through the trenches. You got, you got to remember, don't get put off by like whatever comes in front of you and just keep going, man. Simple. Um, give it 100, 110%. This sport is not for people who are going to do it 30%, 40%, 50%. Training once a week or three times, that's not enough, bro. My fight is minimum. If you don't fight, like here, I said, tell all the youngsters and all the fighters, if you're not here, twice a week, twice a day, minimum five days a week to so six days a week, don't bother talking to me about fighting. Because at the end of the day, you're someone's child, you're someone's brother, you're someone's, you know? I can't risk you getting hurt. So whenever I put somebody out, just know they've been through it. And that's why they're out. And that's why we're winning. Because you have a system. Once you get a certain level, then you fight. Like it, it, Cause this sport is brutal. I've seen so many guys get injured, get brain damage, blood clots in their brain, die, all, all, all sorts of stuff, man. So remember this sport is not, is not for um, looking cool and being cool. It's a brutal sport. And if you're going to do it, make sure you do it properly. That's why I just do the podcast here. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I just do the podcast. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. It's calm. But yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, that's, yeah, that, that's what a lot of people, yeah, that's what I'm saying. A lot of people don't realize that. Um, moving from that now, yeah. uh, obviously UFC 300. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Do you think, what do you think of the card? Like, Dead. do you feel like, nah, you're not, you're not feeling it? Bro. Because obviously we watched, I feel like yeah. we watched UFC 100. Exactly. How big was 100? 100% killers. 200 was Yeah, yeah exactly, big. that's right. Yeah. 100, I feel like, was. Yeah, bro, we were Brock Lesnar, Brock Lesnar, Brock Brian Henderson, yeah. Bisping, uh, all of these, man. Had, uh, John Jones was on like the prelims or something. Yeah, on the bro. prelims. Yeah, GSP <laughs> yeah. and uh, yeah. Thiago Alves. Yeah, yeah, oh, wow. Oh, was that up to 100? Yeah, that was all 100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, this one. I think the main event. I've got to cut the camera to explain why. <laughs> but yeah, it's a dead card, bro. Shall I be honest with you? You know, um, I feel like the core main event. Who's the core main event again? Whaley Zang. Yeah, like, who's gonna watch that, bro? <laughs> yeah, do you get nah, me? Nah, let's be honest. Like, it's not <laughs> yeah. a three hundred. Like, nah, it's not three hundred, bro. They've got the only good fight I'm looking forward to is Oliveira and um, Sarukian on that Sarukian, card. Yeah. That's the only one I'm looking forward to. Hill and is it Hill versus um, yeah, Pereira? Yeah, yeah. That's a good fight. A good fight, great fight, but it's not. You know, I think three hundred caliber. You know, I think they should have done. They should have left Hill and thing because obviously they couldn't find no one. Yeah. But on the call, main, they should have put Leon and Billard. 100%. That at least. Hunt, it juices up. Have, it, yeah, boosts it, it up. A bit more, 100%. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't offer the fight to Billard. Remember they were saying. Oh, yeah. They never the got offered. Price. Yeah. That's mad, know. bro. Yeah, like, they're going to Hamza and these lot, but, bro, Billard's on a tear right now. He's killing everyone. Yeah, he should have got the shot. I, yeah. do, I do believe he should have got the shot. A bit I don't politics know. involved, probably. Maybe some politics. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Let's talk about that. Like, so uh, Palestine and all that. Yeah. What's your. What's your like, <laughs> bro? Look at what's going on, man. There's no views, bro. Yeah, it's literally yeah. like clear cut. They're bloody killing innocent people. They're killing Muslims. That's what it is. The the objective is get rid of kill the Muslims, um, take the land. But yeah, man, it's like where's the, where where's everyone? When 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 it's anybody else involved? Yeah, everybody's yeah, got yeah, something to talk about. Say, yeah. But when it's Muslims getting killed, Palestinians getting killed, um, oh yeah, 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 just ignore it. Don't yeah, talk yeah. about it. And that's what pisses me off. But um. Yeah, man, it's just the way the world is right now. But inshallah, change is coming, man. Just um, I don't want to get too political on this yeah, yeah. podcast, but just the leaders, isn't it? We've got we've got no leaders yeah. in charge, no one to really speak out against these people that are killing all the innocent people. But soon, inshallah, very soon, yeah. they're not going to get away with it. We know this. Like you're not going to get away with them um, killing our brothers and sisters, blah blah blah. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep it there. I don't want to go too okay, deep yeah, into yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, it's calm. But yeah, it's free Palestine, free Kashmir yeah. on this podcast all day. <laughs> free all, so everyone. Free, free everyone, all the people yeah, oppressed. Yeah. Simple, you get me? That's how it is on this podcast. If you don't like it, you don't need to. Yeah, straight, bro. Turn it off channel. right now. Cut yeah. it off. You <laughs> listen to a lot anyway. But yeah, yeah, that UFC 200, I was like, yeah, they should have put the bill out. Like, I'm not even yeah. going to stay up for it, none of that. Like, well, no, I'm probably going to watch it the I'll next day. I'll probably stay up for it. It's a bit dead, bro. Who's the call, man? Who's the prelims? Is it Al Jermaine and these? That's a right fight. KL Calvin Cater, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. He's one him at one You got Ratchet, uh, Rakic oh, yes. and um, Prokata. Oh, that's a good fight. That's actually They're both fight. swingers, like, they go out. Yeah, they're, they're going to knock Yeah. It. Who else is that's it, really? Oh. Uh, I think Garbrandt's on it. Who's he fighting? Garbrandt and Figueredo. Oh, not bad. 
Yeah, yeah. I think, uh, bad. What do you think wins that one? I think Figueiredo gonna. Garbrandt's been losing a lot, but then he won his last fight, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. But then if he gets caught by Figueiredo, Figueiredo hits hard. Yeah, exactly. He's, he's one of them. And he's not gonna be depleted. Yes, that's right. Yeah. With that depleted. He's not gonna. Yes, have, that's true. He's going up in it. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, the fights are not great, but they're all right. Who did you see winning the main event? Uh, Pereira. Pereira. Yeah. I wish he bangs Hill out. <laughs> is it Pereira in it? It's fighting Hill in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish he bangs Hill out. But uh, cause I, I don't, I don't, I don't rate Hill, man. It's just like the light heavyweight division is so weak, isn't it? Yeah, it changes. It's weak. The belt can just Jones change like, any time, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. Do you get me? It's changed like five times. Yeah, li- Jones. yeah, literally, yeah. But what I wish uh, Pereira. I, I, I like Pereira. Yeah. He's exciting. Um, is it? Is light heavyweight? It's no, he's fought lightweight before. It's mad what he's done because I used to watch him in Glory. Yes, yes, yes. So I remember when he became two division champ in Glory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I used to, I watched Adesanya before he met. Got I used you. to watch them all in Glory. Oh, I watched boxing as well, right? Yes, yes, yes. So I was like, Pereira's a beast. But yeah. then I was like, if he does MMA, he's got to work on his grappling. Hundred percent, yeah. But then like, he's he he gets taken down, but he gets up somewhere. Yeah, he, he does. does. Well. Yeah, he does. He does. Like, he does well. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not supposed to do well. Yeah. Like he does some of the stuff he does. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Okay, I don't know yeah. how he's surviving, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's actually really good. But saying that as well, he's not really fought a proper grappler, isn't he? If you think about it, most of the guys that he's had not a guy like Jacare or yeah, like yeah, that, like that a level seasoned on the ground, proper like seasoned. guy. But um, yeah, what he's been doing is sick, bro. Like he's only had like about 10, 12 fights, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. And but the guy is killing it. Two division champion MMA now. Crazy, bro. Two division champion glory. Crazy. He might be one of the greatest ever combat sports athletes. One hundred percent for what he's achieved. What he's achieved. And he's saying he can go to heavyweight. Oh, I don't Imagine know that, that, bro. Man, you never know, bro. Heavyweight division is weak too. Yeah, that's why John Jones. Take Asprin out and John, John Jones. There's no one left. Here. It's like a Rosenstroke and these lot. They're not that level. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you get me? No but disrespect. With no them. disrespect. Exactly. You get me? It was way more exciting back in the days. Yeah, when you had Brock Lesnar. Yeah, Frank, all this, yeah, bro. Daniel Cormier. All killers, man. Ran, you know, Randy yeah. Couture. Randy Couture they need like to do, they in his 40s. Yeah. Running, they, bro. They need to do a serious do you know Ultimate Fighter, uh, just heavyweights. Yeah, and find yeah, a beast, yeah, yeah. bro. Somewhere in there. Do you remember that Ultimate Fighter where they did the heavyweights? Rampage yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, Kimbo and these and, uh, one. Rashad. Yeah, yeah, Kimbo. Yeah. That season was a good. That was the yeah. first one of the first seasons. Yeah, that was sick. That was, there's quite a lot of heavyweights come out of that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Brennan Sharp. Yeah. Uh, Matt Mitrione. Yes, yes, yes. Roy all of Nelson. that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot of good guys. times that was, man. Damn. Good times. Uh, so obviously, when this comes out, it's going to be Ramadan. Yeah. So, how do you prepare for Ramadan? For, with training and spiritually? Um, yeah, man, just everything stays the same, really. Um, like, um, just pray, do your fasting, and the training will be the same pretty much, to be fair. Because I, I don't go on my times, I have to go on my coaches' coaches' times to get it. So, whatever time is there, I just go to it. Some sessions will be 8 in the morning, some sessions will be at afternoon, some sessions will be in the evening. That's usual, yeah. And the gym times will be the same. Do you feel like, um, like you know what I find crazy? Yeah. Uh, training in Ramadan, but like Bilal, he does his training camp in Ramadan. Yeah. And fight straight after. Yeah, crazy, bro. Yeah, hundred percent. But it's doable. Though. You can do it. Yeah, it's doable. You can yeah. do it nowadays. Uh, the fasting is a lot easier, isn't it? What it was a couple yeah, of years yeah, ago. So yeah. it's not. It's not like the eighteen, nineteen hour fast. It's like twelve hours, thirteen yeah. hours. And it's calm. And plus, do you know what is there with them? Like uh, even with me, you can always. Because you have your own facilities, you can change the times yourself. Yeah, I think that's what he does. Like really and truly, I can he change my training times. I can be like, yeah, my coach come this time. But I don't, because I don't want to be annoying for them to get it. I just be like, yeah, yeah, whatever time yeah, you yeah. say, I'll roll up. Um, but yeah, it, it's calm. Plus, he's, we have a lot of training partners now. So you, and a lot of Muslims as well, you can just tweak it yourselves. Train at night, train in the evening, whenever. Like I remember last year, Ramadan, um, a lot of the lads from here were getting ready for fights. About eight of them. But we were doing sparring at like 1am in the morning. And they all went afterwards, like in the month later, the fort, but... Yeah, we're just getting ready at 1 a.m., 12 o'clock, in the, 12 p.m., midnight, just training, running, hitting pads, everything like that. So you can, you can okay. adapt to it, yeah. What advice would you give uh, to people to, for training in Ramadan? It depends on the person, isn't it? Like, for example, we're used to it. I've been training for years, do you get it? Yeah, yeah. So for me, minimum, training twice a day, three times a day, um, it's okay. Yeah, I, I know my body, so I can gauge it. But if, obviously, if you haven't done it before, just train after Ramadan, probably. Train after, after the iftar. Tra- after iftar, yeah. Just train after. Or um, like an hour before hour iftar. Before, and yeah. then so you can open straight yeah. after session. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, just go with your body, see how you feel, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How about you, bro? How are you training this Ramadan? Tell me, bro. I want to hear I'm this. I'm probably just going to hit weights, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Like, I, after or before? I, 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 yeah? After or before? After, probably. After. Yeah, yeah. 100% after. Yeah, yeah. Get the gains in. I remember when I was younger, I used to train. <laughs> I used to train MMA Ramadan, but I used to only train a couple times a week. But I used to just go like 
before. Got you. Like an hour or so. Two hour or two before and then I'll just yeah, yeah, yeah. be dead for the last yeah, hour. Yeah, 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 get you. Wait for the yeah, month. survive. <laughs> just survive survive. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I get you. But I think the main thing is if you, I used to just try to go light. I never used to yeah. do like I know you do a lot of like uh, striking sparring. I used to do more you. grappling. Yeah, I understand. It because, makes sense. Because yeah. getting hit in the head. And yeah, while dehydrated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, you're right. Be doing that. That's a good point. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think if you're gonna do the striking, do it after you've and all that. Yeah. Do or just work on technique for that month. Yeah, more be more technical. Yeah, be technical. Yeah, upgrade your skills. Just slow it down slightly. Everything, and just. Um, Work on thing. Work on weaknesses. Blah, now blah, blah. I don't think I could do that. But <laughs> <laughs> now I don't think I could train all the room. Yeah. I'll probably just hit weights or something. After yeah. Start, but um, you know, Ramadan is a dieting way. It's yeah. difficult because I've noticed yeah, it like is, it it's start time. Everything's on the plate, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some more say, But so with me, basically, look here. I, my diet's been on and off. Like for example, I was in shape, come out in shape, blah blah blah. blah. Yeah, but for Ramadan, um, because I'm so busy now, I'm literally eating at the door. So I'm not going to have time to really chill and eat the bad food. I ain't eat the bad food. I'm going to stick to my diet and then boom, just ride out. Because my goal is the next five weeks just get in mad shape. And then camp will intensify straight off Ramadan. And then go for like eight weeks solid. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So the goal is for me just to get shredded, bro. Simple. Yeah, you'll see it. Like right now I've got a bit of cheeks, but off Ramadan be like cut. Cut. Because I lose weight quick, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. Like um, I cut a lot of weight for fighting, whatever. But initially just to get in shape, Why I lose it quick. Um, <laughs> I ain't checked to be fair. But I'm probably about 78, maybe 80, 79, yeah, 80. Yeah, I'll say you are. Yeah, around that. But um, normally in shape, I'm about 72. Okay. Like, that's, that's me nice. Rate. And I feel good there. And then I'll, I'll lower it. I'll get below 70 and then 68 and then cut it. Yeah. Surprised you get to bantam though. It's yeah, yeah. Um, it is tough, bro. I've got to be on it for like a good eight weeks. You got a good size on you? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, nice, no, tough. It's tough. I've got a base show. I'm on the diet fully. No mistakes. <laughs> but that's the thing with me. I'm uh, all in or all out. So like... Okay. If I do something, I'm going to be 100% with it. But if I'm not, I'm chilling then. So with the gym, that's why I took a year out because I couldn't do this and fight because I'd give half half to everything then. And it's not, yeah, good, it's not good enough. you got to be 100 in this. I've got to get 100 on there's both. Ki there's killers in it. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah, off, yeah, so. exactly. So now, Alhamdulillah, it's okay. Um, I kind of got used to the workload and blah, blah, blah. But now I can go back hopefully and focus the way I used to focus years ago. It's been a while, bro. Wallahi. I haven't, I haven't fully focused on MMA in years, bro. I have. I'm there, I told you about like, it's not, not the like, way I used to be. It's not like but now it's eat, sleep, train, the fight. main focus. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. you had other things going yes, on. Yes, yes, that's yeah, right. Yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah, so I'm excited myself to have that. That's how I've been feeling with the podcast. I've not been focused <laughs> for the last. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, yeah, I'm now it's like yeah, bro. Now Book it's people time in. to show people yeah, the yeah, levels. Yeah, yeah, right. exactly, bro. Exactly. But hundred uh, <laughs> percent. Yeah, it's that's what it's about. <laughs> so before we end, I'm going to ask you a few fire round questions. Yeah. That's We're gonna call it. So uh, I'm gonna start off with: Are you a texter or caller? A texter. You're a texter, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, what's one place in the world you like to visit that you haven't visited? That I haven't been to. Yeah. Oh, one place in the world that I haven't been to. I've been. One area, right? Yeah, one place. Um, or city or any. Uh, it's a tough one. You know, I've been bare places, but haven't been to is. Um, Sorry, that's supposed to be quick fire questions, but <laughs> I'm taking nah, my time. Nah, nah, um, time you, don't well, have, you know what? Dagestan. Dagestan. I love to go to Dagestan. Yeah. See what it's like there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, something, I've been to bare places, but yeah, there. I'd love to see what it's like. Once we become Faisal yeah, Malikov. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Faisal Malikov. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. But, uh, yeah. Um, all right. So if you had to pick like a cricket team to support, would it be Pakistan or England? Pakistan all day. Pakistan all day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no yeah. hesitation on that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all day, bro. I normally when I ask that, yeah. they get hesitation. Like, <laughs> nah. You know, for the camera. <laughs> yeah, what should yeah, I say? Yeah. But, um, Pakistan all day, bro. Pakistan cricket team. I always, I always watch the cricket. Yeah. When Pakistan play, brother, well stops for me. I have to check the scores yeah. and everything. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how people watch the test matches though. That long. That's long. Uh, I don't but know I still keep up to date with it though. Do you? Yeah, yeah. I always that, check man. it. Like what's going on in that? What the score is and that? I love cricket. For cricket, it's something I used to play when I was little a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. For me, it was either cricket or fighting. Okay. Well, like that, that's how much I should love cricket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to play cricket every single day. But yeah, that's why uh, uh, Pakistan all day. <laughs> so, uh, I didn't even get into this, but uh, you're obviously you, you're from Kashmir, isn't it? Yeah. So, uh, which part of Kashmir are you from? Uh, Kotli. Kotli. Yeah, yeah. So, do you prefer like, when you go, if, you, if you've been back home? Yeah, bit. I go every year. Yeah. So, like, do you prefer being in Azal Kashmir or do you like going to the city? No, I, li I like my ends. 
على كرانسي على على جرانش على جوت ذا سي يا يا كول سي بول لا سي سي از جود از ويل لايك دوغ ات ويش بول لايك سام بول يا يا دا دا سيك بول سام بول از ويكيد لايك سام بول ليت لا ذا واي از نات بات اي ستيل نيد تو جو له هو اي ستيل امي بين له هو ابين ابين اي ابين كراتشي بات اس ذا واز لايك ا كونكتنج فلايت ات واز كويك ثينج بات هاد تو ليف اي ستيد ذير فور تو دايز بات له هو له هو از لايك سيك سام بول سيم ثينج بات يا فور مي ذا فيليج از سيك ذا واي وي فروم لايك ذا فيوز ذا سيمبليستي اوف ذا لايف از سو سيمبل اند جست ام اي جست توت ات لايك ا ديفرنت وورلد compared to the city and everything else to get it and um you yeah, are up for the um the ends <laughs> okay yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah so if you had a if you had one place you could live now in the world not visit yeah. where would it be other than england or uk Oof, to live yeah to live like have family live like bro permanently Probably back home where I'm back from. Home, yeah. yeah, because that's the only place I have stayed for a long oh, time. Not Dubai. Uh, <laughs> like no, no. That, that's the, yeah, Dubai. The thing is, I've never been there. So I have been oh, there okay. for tr- over holidays, but not to to experience living there. Living oh, there is totally okay. different. You get it? But yeah, right now, bro, I would say yeah, anything, anything away from the West. Okay. Yeah, you get it. But um, it's not great everywhere else either. So you got. I'll just say back home. Back home. Also, Turkey. Would safe be option. Turkey. Would yeah, Turkey. Like Turkey is alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Turkey is um, alright. But. No family, they're not in the next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you get me. Yeah, yeah. Just on your own. But yeah, for me right now, I'll just stay back home. Okay. Just keep it simple. But yeah, anyway, in the. So do you, um, okay. So world. next one. So do you like roti or chawal? Both. We love both. So both, when yeah, I, what yeah. I'm saying is chapati <laughs> and <laughs> rice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so which you like? It depends. Both? It depends. Which yeah. one though? Like which one you like? I'll have probably more. Which one do you have? Chawal and that probably more. Yeah, yeah, I have that as well. Yeah, yeah, more of that. Yeah, it's uh, easy as well. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like uh, uh, like gosh or chuza? So that's uh, meat or yeah. chicken? Yeah, chicken. Um, boo, the tough one, bro. Depends, but again, curry. Probably gosh. Yeah. Yeah. What about uh, biryani? Wise lamb or chicken? I don't have biryani. I'm not you a fan don't have of biryani. Nah. I only like lamb biryani. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've, yeah, I, I, I like it, but. I'm not a fan oh, of it. You, like you know blah. the way man's going like about bringing on in there? I'm like, it's like, right, bro. You like blah? Like yeah, yeah, banging. Blah yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Um, what's your favorite striking combo? Combo? Yeah, that you like to uh, do or... Anything to set up the left hook. My favorite okay. shot is the left hook. Yeah, so like... So you can cross do a, left you can hook, do a jab, left hook, and then, and then a left hook. Yeah. <laughs> as long as it ends with the left hook. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got to try that next fight. <laughs> Cut. Don't you put this part in. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Game plan. <laughs> yeah. um, oh, what's your favorite like uh, takedown to pull? Favorite takedown um, to land is a high crotch, oh, dumping yeah, him on the head, just straight pick him up, slam him, single, straight back down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what about uh, for jiu jitsu wise? What's your favorite um, submission? Um, the DOS. DOS. Yeah, I get that a lot. Okay. And then it leads to a lot of other positions that you can finish people. Yeah, 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 yeah. DOS. Okay, that's it. It don't, don't get pulled off that much. Yeah, yeah, but I, yeah, I love that move though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think we'll ever see that in a fight? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, yeah hopefully. You got quite hopefully. a few submissions back in. Yeah, 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 amateurs and yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can. Um, yeah, DOS. Watch out for that. <laughs> Start defending, boys. <laughs> 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 ready, ready. See yourself in the next couple of years. Um, as in, uh, just generally myself, yeah. Um, no, just yourself and career-wise. Um, a UFC and have one of the best gyms in the UK, Europe. Okay. Yeah, two things. So bigger facility, everything. Yeah, yeah. I loads more of it. Franchises, not just okay. one. Okay. So yeah. what's uh, who's one person that's inspired you? Um. What in just overall and everything? Overall, overall everything. Ooh, tough one, you know. There's loads, but um, inspire me. Uh, we can talk about. Yeah, it was just anyone. Actually. These lot, fighting wise, these lot. Okay, okay. Because all I ever do is fight, innit? Like, yeah, yeah. If yeah. I'm not coaching, I'm training. But generally, yeah, it's hard to say these lot, man. Behind me, GSP, Habib. Okay. Um, my mum and dad. Yeah. Just like it's weird. I get motivation of not what you think. I'm not inspired by these bloody. Internet and sensations yeah, and that—it's yeah. just like my own family inspire me. Okay. You know, my dad inspires me. These guys here—they just smashed it and they're fighting. They inspire me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. That's it, really. So I'm just gonna. Yeah. Andy here. Yeah. yeah, sick one. That's nice. It's a good one. Um, any last message for the people watching on the camera? Nah, thank you for the support and um, just keep an eye out. I'm back now. Inshallah, big wins coming. Got the Legends MMA. That's it, Legends sure, MMA. Check it out. Check it out, lads. If you're ever in Luton, um, 
uh, yeah, check out yeah, the gym. Man. Check out my YouTube channel, uh, Legends MMA, in um, in YouTube. Yeah, the vlogs we put up, like gym vlogs, fight day vlogs. Um, I'll also be going. I'll also be basically documenting my return on that channel. So just keep an eye out. Me, and yeah. where can people find your social media as well? Your social, uh, what's your social? F Malik one four five on everything. Okay, yeah. so guys, you heard that. Um, check out MMA Diagnosis. We're trying to put our content, support us, subscribe, like, share, all of that. And uh, yeah, just keep on viewing, share the content. We're at MMA Diagnosis on all social platforms. MMA Diagnosis YouTube channel. I'm going to sort out the audio soon. So we're going to have this on audio uh, okay. soon. So on Spotify and everything. So just support us and show us love. Um, show Faisal some love. Thank you, lads. Inshallah, make the UFC yeah. one day. Inshallah, man. See Thank ya. you, bro. We're the men on his podcast. Faisal Malik, we're out, bro. Sick. That was wicked.